Dearly beloved, I welcome you to the throne of grace uh, wherein we seek the face of God and seek for help as we begin our day. Our topic for today is set free and promoted. Set free and promoted. And our scriptural emphasis is taken from Romans chapter 6 verse 7 to 8. For he who has died and has been freed from sin. Now if we die with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Firstly, from where we read, Jesus freed us from sin. Secondly, he lifted us far above powers and principalities to dwell with him. That is a promotion. You were set free and you are lifted high above. Your redemption came with promotion. You are no longer a slave to sin, but a prince reigning with him, the king. And that is why you are, he is addressed as the king of kings. So you are one of the kings that is living together with the almighty king who is God. So God has set you free and he has promoted you. He has set you free from sin. And now that he has set us free, the Bible says that what? That, that we believe that we shall also live with him. We shall also live with him. Where is him? He lives far above power and principalities. If that is where Jesus Christ is, now you are together with him because that is where you are. He lives in dominion. That is where you are also because that is where he is. And so you too, you live there with him. Praise God. And based on that uh, scriptural uh, understanding, we shall be taking our scriptural emphasis from um, uh, uh, in this order. Uh, today's scriptural emphasis shall be in this order as you say it uh, after me. Can I hear you say, Father, thank you for rescuing me from sin and lifting me far above power and principalities. Preserve my soul, Lord, from conceding to sin in Jesus' name. So I want you to say that for the second time before you pray. Say, Father, thank you for rescuing me from sin and lifting me far above power and principalities. Preserve my soul, Lord, from conceding to sin or from falling into sin in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for rescuing my life. Thank you for rescuing me from sin. Thank you for rescuing my life. Thank you for rescuing me from the bondage of sin. Thank you for rescuing my life. Thank you for saving me and for promoting me. You set me free, oh God. Father, thank you for setting me free from the bondage of sin. And having set me free, Lord, you lifted me far above to be where you are. What a promotion you've given me. The biggest promotion that any man can ever receive from anyone, oh God. You live in dignity, I live in dignity. You live in glory, I live in glory. You live far above shame, I live far above shame. You live above powers and principalities, I live above powers and principalities. Father, thank you for setting me free and thank you for promoting me. I return all glory and honor to your name, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And today we shall be asking God to give us grace, grace for today. And we shall be praying in this order. Say, Father, I receive grace for honor. Protect me against shame in the name of Jesus Christ. So one of the things that the grace of God will do for you, you know, is to keep you away from shame. You are safe to live in honor. Honor is a place of high respect. Dignity, a place of dignity where you are highly respected is called honor. And the opposite of it is called what? Disgrace. 
So the grace of God has come that you will be put out of disgrace, but you will live in the grace of God. You will live in honor and you will live in dignity. Now let us pray this prayer together. One to go. Father, I receive grace for honor. I receive grace for honor. You died and your death brought me salvation and brought me honor that I should be saved and I should live in honor. I have received salvation and now I live in honor. Thank you for the honor that you have brought me via your grace. Thank you, O oh God. And I pray, God, that you protect me, protect my salvation, protect my dignity, O oh God, protect my honor. I shall not fall into shame in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, the trap that the fowler has laid for me to fall into shame. Father, Lord, preserve my spirit, my soul, Father, from falling into shame in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for protecting me. I shall not fall into shame. My family shall not fall into shame. Whatever that I do from this day onward shall be in glory and honor and to the glory of your name alone. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Can I hear you say amen? Hallelujah. Now we shall be making our declaration in accordance with Job chapter 22 and verse number 28. For ye shall decree a thing, for ye shall declare a thing, and so it shall be. And Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And as you so declare, you shall eat of the fruit of it. And so we shall be making this declaration seven times and you shall be repeating whatever that I say as you declare it to yourself, believing God that it shall be fulfilled in your life. Shall we go? Yes. One to go. I am blessed. I am lifted above shame and failure. I am divinely protected against shame and failure. I shall not die prematurely. I shall live to fulfill the number of my days in Jesus' name. I am blessed. I am lifted above shame and failure. I am divinely protected against shame and failure. I shall not die prematurely. I shall live to fulfill the number of my days in the name of Jesus Christ. I am blessed. I am lifted above shame and failure. I am divinely protected against shame and failure. I shall not die prematurely. I shall live to fulfill the number of my days in the name of Jesus Christ. Number four, I am blessed. I am lifted above shame and failure. I am divinely protected against shame and failure. I shall not die prematurely. I shall live to fulfill the number of my days in the name of Jesus Christ. I am blessed. I am lifted above shame and failure. I am divinely protected against shame and failure. I shall not die prematurely. I shall live to fulfill a number of my days in the name of Jesus. I am blessed. I am lifted above shame and failure. I am divinely protected against shame and failure. I shall not die prematurely. I shall live to fulfill a number of my days in the name of Jesus Christ. And finally, I am blessed. I am lifted above shame and failure. I am divinely protected against shame and failure. I shall not die prematurely. I shall live to fulfill the number of my days in the name of Jesus Christ. And as you have declared, so shall it be unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. And we shall be taking our reflection for today. Disloyalty is a sin. Sin offends God. Each time you sin, you are offending God. Sin leads to hell. Hell is real. Heaven is real. Stay away from sin by repentance. And when you repent and you follow Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you are on your way to heaven. The Lord bless you even as you decide to give your life to Jesus. Hallelujah. And in conclusion, I want us to say this together. Grace is not a license to encourage sin. It is a license to overcome sin. 
do not frustrate the grace of God upon your life. Instead, activate the grace of God upon your life by taking responsibility of your destiny. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you even as you take responsibility of your destiny to the glory of God. Hallelujah. You are blessed. You just listened to Reverend Dr. Victor Falak, a pastor, a teacher, and a human resource developer. For a copy of the devotional, call 081-144-222-28 or 070-3522-9732. Or visit Victor Falak on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.